Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a closer look at the Finder Toolbar. So the Finder Toolbar is one of those things you might take for granted. It's at the top of every Finder window. There's a bunch of buttons there. And you can customize what goes in the Finder Toolbar and add some interesting things. Let's go and take a closer look. So here's a typical Finder window and you can see there's a bunch of buttons at the very top. You've got your forward and backward buttons that work just like they do in a web browser. You also can change the view going icon view, list view, my favorite column view, or even cover flow. And then you've got some other things here that may or may not be on your toolbar depending on how you've customized it. One is a quick look. So you can click that and get a quick look at whatever document is selected. It's the same as when you hit spacebar. You also have this tools button here which allows you to do a whole bunch of different things. Duplicates of the things that you can do in the menus up here but they're specific for this folder and they come in really handy. Now let's look at how you can customize and add some of your own stuff up here. Now the typical customizations occur when you go to view, customize toolbar. Now you get a lot of different things here including the buttons that are already there and you can drag and drop them around. So for instance if I wanted to add a burn button to burn the current finder folder to a CD or DVD I can drag and drop that there. At the same time I can remove items by dragging them down like that. So you can even add a button here to get to this customize screen. There's all sorts of things. If you want to return to the defaults you can drag this entire bar here at the bottom up to the top and will return you all to the defaults. You can also choose, you can just barely see here at the bottom uh, to just show icon and text, icon only or text only and over here is use small size for the icons. And there's a variety of different things you can use here that could be useful depending on how I often use these features like connect shortcut, a get info shortcut, creating a new folder shortcut, that kind of thing. So here's a finder toolbar with the works. Everything has been added to it. So I've got an eject button, a burn to optical media button, a customize button which will bring up the menu like that, a new folder, delete, connect, connect to a, another server, uh, get info on the current file or files selected and connect to your iDisk. Here we are back at the defaults. Now you can control click or right click on the top area outside of a button to get a menu which will allow you to make some of those selections like icon or text, uh, use small size, uh, removing an item or customizing the toolbar. So you don't have to go to that view customize toolbar menu item. So to remove an item I can simply control click or right click on it and click remove item and get rid of it. Now you can also customize your toolbar by adding items to it like files and folders. So let me go and show you some examples. So if you want to add a file you drag it to the top here and you wait approximately one or two seconds for the plus symbol to appear and you drop it on there. And now you have instant access to this file. Now it might not seem very useful but if you have say a spreadsheet that keeps your budget or a text edit document that has notes in it and you're always accessing that file it's handy to have it there and know that you can basically get to it from any finder window not just the finder window that contains that file. Now what would make more sense is using a folder there. So you can take a commonly accessed folder like this photos folder, drag it, wait those two seconds and drop it there. And now anytime I want to go to the photos folder I just simply click there and I go to it. In addition to that I can easily drag any item into that folder. Now the key is if I drag an item and hold it there like I'm talking it adds a plus button. But if I drag it quickly and drop it goes instantly into the photos folder like that. Now the third thing that you could add to the top of the toolbar is an application. Like go to your applications folder, select an application you commonly need to access, drag it over here, wait that second and then drop it. Now even when you're looking at another folder and you don't want to go down to your dock you can basically use the toolbar as an application launcher and launch that application. So you can also write Apple scripts if you're handy with that and add them to your toolbar there for actions. Uh, one useful thing people find is there's an application out there called Open Terminal here and if you drag and drop that application in there what it will do is it will recognize what folder you're in and when you click on it it will open up the terminal window and instantly take you to this directory that you're in. So you can see right now I'm in my documents folder right where I was when I clicked the open terminal here. Now when you go to customize your toolbar there's some dividers that you can use. You can use a space, a flexible space and a separator. 
So for instance, if you wanted to put a few things in here like eject and burn and then you wanted a separator like right there, um, you can go ahead and then put a space maybe and put the get info and delete buttons. Flexible space will actually give you more space and change its size depending on how much room is on the toolbar. There's a quick look at how to customize your Finder toolbar. Play around with it and give it a try. And if you've got a question about how to use your Mac or iPhone or other Apple product, you can also email me a question at questions at macmost.com and very often I'll answer these at the Mac Answers Podcast which is a short approximately one minute long daily Mac audio podcast. So check that out as well. Until next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with Macmost Now. <music>